So uh, today I'll be talking about two infectious diseases, in fact, common infectious diseases that we encounter in our daily day-to-day uh, -day practice. One is dengue, second one is crop typhus. Uh, so dengue, uh, all of you would have uh, definitely seen a patient with dengue. Some of you would, might have suffered from dengue. We know dengue is a viral infection caused by the virus name itself is uh, dengue virus. It belongs to the family Flaviviridae, genus Flaviviridae, and the species dengue virus. Okay, so the dengue, there are four serotypes which are uh, important uh, uh, for human infection. That is uh, DEN1, DEN2, DEN3, and DEN4 strains. Okay, how is dengue transmitted? Dengue virus is transmitted from one affected person to another through a mosquito bite. The mosquito is Aedes aegypti. This is the same mosquito which uh, is responsible for transmission of yellow fever virus, for Zika virus, right, and the chikungunya virus. Okay. This particular vector, this mosquito is found worldwide in tropics and subtropics. Uh, this mosquito is highly susceptible to dengue virus because the virus has to enter the mosquito first for it to transmit to another person. Right. Uh, this mosquito feeds preferentially on human blood. And what you need to import it is it's predominantly a daytime feeder. If you look at malaria and dengue, now actually malaria we've been able to control to a great extent, right? especially in cities. Because malaria is transmitted by a different mosquito called Anaphilus mosquito. And that Anaphilus mosquito is preferentially a nighttime feeder. Most of us at nighttime are indoors, right? And we use mosquito repellents, or we have mosquito nets, so kind of we, we are safe from mosquito bite, anaphilus mosquito bite to some extent. And the anaphilus mosquito actually, uh, you know, it doesn't grow easily in clean water. It requires very, you know, dirty water collection, large water collection. Whereas Aedes aegypti is a predominantly daytime feeder when we are out on work, okay, where we are not walking around with mosquito repellents, so we are susceptible to mosquito bites. Second thing, this mosquito, Aedes aegypti, can grow in clean water, small water collection. If there is a little bit of rain drizzle and there's water collection of coconut shell, the mosquito can breed there. So this is a well, this is a mosquito which is well adapted to life in urban settings. And uh, its bite is often painless. Okay, it, it has an almost an imperceptible bite. It's capable of biting several people in a short period of for one blood meal. Okay, and typically breeds in, a, in clean stagnant water in containers that collect rainwater, for example, tires, tin cans, pots, buckets, etc. <laughs>